Hi, I've got a copy of Rob Ranaker's book of lessons uh, attributed to Pedro Heredia. Uh, Rob has some interesting viewpoints on that, which I really suggest you listen to. I'm going to go through this very, very simply. I'm going to keep it about quality, about the translation. When I talk about the translation, I'm going to talk about how easy it is for me as an English speaker to read it. I'm not going to make any high claims about being able to speak other languages. I'm not particularly gifted in that. So the important thing for me is how easy and how clear I feel this transmits information. So this will be one thing we go through. Obviously, like I say, the quality of the book itself. Choices that have been made, whether of hardback, whether there could have been difference in quality of prints and this kind of thing we'll go through as well. So first of all, we have the introduction, obviously, and I would really, really, this book more than so many, I would suggest you read the in introduction. Um, Rob has done a very good job of clarifying a lot of the choices that he makes in the book and gives you some very, very important background, including the stuff that I told you at the beginning here. Then we go on to the technical stuff. So when we get onto the technical stuff, it's very interesting. It's it's incredibly clear. And this speaks very highly, first of all, I think of the person who's done this. And I believe this, this is meant to be uh, Cavalcabo and with a section by Paternoster as well. But what I would say is that the lessons in this are incredibly, on the whole, clear. Very, 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 very sensible, very small segmented lessons. There's not an overarching principle that goes into huge, huge detail. It's you do this, you do this, you can do this. This is an option for you. And I like this. I think this is a very, very good way for people to learn. Um, looking through it, I have to say I disagree with Rob slightly in that I felt he felt that it would be more helpful for someone who has a lot of experience with fencing. This, I feel, looking at the simple lessons, feels like it could very, very, very easily be for somebody who doesn't know how to fence initially. Um, and if I've misrepresented what Rob has said there, I do apologise. But this is incredibly, incredibly clear stuff. So it's a very valuable text in that respect. Um, and one that I would be happy to have somebody to pick up as a primary source and work with it and then expand from that into something else. So whether Rob is right, whether I'm right, I, I do not know. But I think this is absolutely fascinating. A very, very good system. Um, very, very clearly explained. So for the first part alone, it's incredibly worth buying. Rob's translations of these are very, very clear. And what I would like to say more than anything is I felt going through, there was very little assumption. Sometimes when I've read translations, there's a feeling that the author is trying to pull you towards one type of conclusion about how the piece is. And these are laid out very, very simply, very pragmatically. And with footnotes, we love footnotes because it's very clear that there's a distinction between the opinion of the translator and the original author. So they're trying to be, as uh, Rob is very clearly trying to be as honest as possible and as pragmatic as possible in his application of the translation. And that shows very, very well. So this I think is absolutely fantastic. The book itself, to be honest, for 50 quid, I would have bought the book just for the information at the beginning. Now we're gonna to go to the back and this is going to be a lot more simple than I anticipated doing. I know Rob's gonna do a little bit more of a talk about this for Alt Heron, so do look, watch out for the video for this. What I would say is, when you get to these bits, everybody's gonna get very, very excited. And to be honest, the text at the front has now started exciting me more than the pictures. The pictures are fantastic. Um, the choice of quality for the book, I think, has hit exactly the right combination of price point and quality. So the pictures are on map. Now, I'll give you two examples of why I think this is such a superb thing. So we have Four Games translation of Le Kuchner, and the Le Kuchner translation here is absolutely fantastic. It's a wonderful, wonderful book. But I think it suffers for the quality of the illustrations that you have. The prints in here are really, really very, very small. They don't offer any clarity to the text, really. They're, they're, they're just window dressing. It's not particularly good. However, when you get to this here, the description of the pictures is very, very clear. The pictures themselves are absolutely beautiful. You can see the nuanced hand positions. You can't ask for better than that. It's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. So I can't speak highly enough of the choices that both Rob and Fallen Rook have made in doing this. I think it's um, it's the right price point. They could have gone for something like the 133 um, print, which was about £700 and done something incredibly, incredibly overly 
flamboyant. But I think this is perfect. This is accessible. It's clear. I have only one, one quibble with this, and that is this. In order to read this here, I have to have the book sideways to this. I would much rather have seen the text laid out parallel to the prints um, because it will make it much, much easier and clearer to read, I feel. But that said, I'm going to keep this review simple because honestly, if you have not got a copy of this book, I don't think I've been as excited in picking up a book and reading it as on fencing as I have in this in ages. Um, there is a joy in obviously looking at the pictures, but the text is absolutely wonderfully clear. Um, there are a couple of points where there's there's sort of, oh, we're not sure quite what's going on with this. And Rob's been very, very clear about that, which I really appreciate about that. I do like the lack of assumption. I think Rob has an incredibly good and scholarly approach to all of his translations work. He really, really likes to err on the side of caution. This may be something. This is what the evidence tells us. And I think that is a fantastic way forward. It particularly allows you to make your own judgment of the text, um, which I think is, is the purest and most simple. There is a lot more to say about this. I spoke to Rob about it at length. And to be honest, I'm going to save it all for Rob. Um, if you haven't got a copy of this book, do get it. It's a phenomenal piece of information. It's a phenomenal source. And it has been laid out absolutely correctly. Good hardback book. Good quality. The prints are of lovely high quality without being glossy. Glossy here, if I'm um, going slightly off on one again here, the fact that they've made this on matte paper um, makes for a much, much more pleasant reading experience than, for example, when you're trying to read something like the Tebow translation here. Um, where the pages were very, very thin, the print wore off very, very quickly, and the glossiness of it actually means that if you're reading in certain lights, you just get too much reflection, so it's very, very difficult to get through. So, as far as I can see, with the exception of the angle of the text, the relation to prints going this way, text going this way, which is a very, very small quibble, um, I think everything with this book has been done absolutely wonderfully and the right choices have been made. So you can pick this up from Fallen Rook Publishing. It's by Rob Ranickers. Like I say, do look out for his other works as well. But this should be on your shelf. I hope you enjoyed this. Take care. I'll see you soon.